Hi, my name's Claire and I'm 17 years old and go to Otago Girls High School. Today I'm going to find out what it's like to be a restaurant manager at McDonald's. And to show Claire what it takes to be successful at one of Dunedin's busiest restaurants is operations manager Mike McCaffrey. Mike started at McDonald's as a university student and decided to stay on as he saw the fantastic opportunities a career at McDonald's could offer. So Claire, obviously welcome to the restaurant. Um, it's obviously a fantastic place to work. Yeah. Some of the main responsibilities of a restaurant manager is to provide outstanding quality service and cleanliness, while balancing that with an outstanding profit as well, and obviously running a successful business. Yeah. Um, part of that is selecting the right people to work for us. So I've lined up an interview for us this afternoon. That'd be great. Awesome. Well, it's obviously really important for us that we get the right employees, you know, and a lot of the people that we hire don't have any work experience before, and that's okay, you know, but we're looking for someone that's enthusiastic and someone that's really going to engage the people in the business. Part of the restaurant manager's uh, responsibilities are finding those people and identifying those traits in the candidates that we have. So, uh, what do you think? Yeah, I thought he was really confident. He seemed to have a, you know, good attitude and I think if I was a restaurant manager that I would hire him. As well as employing new workers, restaurant managers are also responsible for maintaining their existing staff. Personnel are the manager's most valuable asset, so ensuring they are productive and motivated is an important part of their role. Uh, so Tane's here, came here nice and early for his review, so we'll sit down and get it done. Tane, how you going? Hello. It's good to see you. This is Claire. We have regular performance reviews to, to really um, coach them and, and to develop them. A lot of it's on their own personal development and, and how they're going inside the business. And, um, you know, it's really an opportunity for us to sit down one on one, find out how they're feeling, find out if they're happy in their job that they're doing, and really giving them the tools that they need to move forward and move up. So, how are you finding it? More fun, more fun. Awesome, yeah, yeah, fantastic. To ensure employees prosper, McDonald's offer their staff national qualification training and courses for free, ensuring their customers receive only the best possible service. So Claire, another big important part of our job as a restaurant manager is to make sure that the product that's coming out of the kitchen um, is top quality, yep. that any customer that orders our food, you know, obviously is very happy with it, and it's up to McDonald's standards. So um, what we're going to do is get you to step into the role of a customer, um, send you to front counter to make an order. Okay. I'll, time, I'll time the order, make sure that it comes out within McDonald's standards, and then we'll sit down and check the burgers and make sure that they're all up to McDonald's standards. Right. The customers for us are our main focus. They, you know, without them, we, we wouldn't be in a position to do what we do. Um, you know, so it's really important for us that from the minute that they walk in the door, the experience that they have in the restaurant is what they expect. And when they walk out, um, they're happy and they're going to come back. So how was that? It was fantastic. Well within McDonald's service time, so we'll find a seat and check the burgers. Cool. I guess one of the perks of the job is the fact that we get to um, eat McDonald's. Uh, we get it for free as, as, as restaurant managers and really one of the key reasons why is uh, we can mm. check the, the quality. Yeah. We can make sure that what the customer is getting is, is what we expect them to be getting. <laughs> so what do you think? Yeah, it tastes really good. Um, I love the sauce. Yep. It's nice and warm. Yeah, my filet is fantastic. So what we do is we taste for temperature and texture and taste yep. and we record it on our sheets. As a restaurant manager, attention to detail is, is, is huge. So everything we do needs to be perfect. And that extends restaurant wine. So that's from um, the dining room to the back area through to the places where you sit down. And to help achieve that perfection, the restaurant manager works closely with the restaurant franchisee. This is Paul Steiner. Hi, Paul. Nice to meet you. Hi, Claire. Nice to meet you, too. Paul Steiner started working in various roles in McDonald's restaurants, and his career has progressed. Now he is the franchise owner. I started as a crew person, so I think that um, it's an outstanding business that gives benefits way and far beyond just being a salaried personnel. One of the benefits I have is owning more than one restaurant is I can walk into the restaurant with Mike and see it from an outside person's view looking in, whereas Mike is working in it on a day-to-day -day basis. So therefore I have the ability to be able to check detail in much more detail or look at stuff that he might walk past on a day-to-day -day basis without even knowing he's doing it. So, now that you've uh, had a walk through the dining room, what do you think, Claire? Well, I think it's really warm, um, it's really tidy and clean, and I'd love to sit down and have a meal here. Awesome. So, did you think Mike's done a great job today? Excellent, as, as always. <laughs> 
obviously we are responsible for building sales in the restaurant and you work in partnership with your owner operator to come up with local ideas of, of what we're going to do to increase sales in the business. A lot of it comes down to being creative with the way that you present information. So we've obviously got the uh, Mecca's Unreal deal, um, really pushing the Dunedin locally owned and uh, we've just got the voucher sort of explaining uh, that you get a dollar sundae, dollar cheeseburger, a dollar apple pie with uh, any purchase. Awesome. Well, I mean, that pretty much brings to an end the, the meeting that Mike and I would normally have, Claire. Um, you probably see the roles and responsibilities of a restaurant yep. manager unfolding now and the pressures and, and the fun that goes with it. You know, we love throwing challenges to our people and um, I'm going to throw one at you now and uh, <laughs> ask and see whether you'd be interested in running the ship managers meeting today. I would be honoured to. Making sure everyone's on the same page is uh, hugely important. We have 80 to 90 crew people, we have 10 managers, you know, and filtering the information that we get from all the franchisee down to the person that started yesterday, you know, is a massive part of our job. I'd also like to bring up the $1 Maker's Unreal deal. Now this has just come out recently, and today it's going to be dropped in people's letter, letter box around the community. The thing I love about this job um, the most is, is the people. Um, it's the people that I work with, the people that I interact with every day. I come to work, I have a laugh, I, I enjoy my job. Thank you very much for your time. See you later. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, so, how did you find it? Yeah, it was a lot of responsibility and obviously I had to be quite confident and assertive. And you did a fantastic job, you came across as uh, uh, really confident and uh, yeah, so well, let's get into the next task. Claire may have passed Paul's challenge, but her work isn't over yet. One last task in her McDonald's experience remains, and for Mike, it's considered one of the more rewarding. Hi, would you like to donate to the Ronald McDonald House? Thank you. It's, it's hugely satisfying. It's, it's one of the best parts of the job is being able to give back to the community. <laughs> so after a full day in his shoes, does Mike think Claire's got what it takes to manage one of his restaurants? She did a fantastic job and we'd love to have her as part of the team. I thought it was so much fun. I learned a lot about McDonald's, but not just McDonald's, actually being in a position where you have to be confident and assertive and in control. And I think that I would really, I'd be up for the challenge, yeah. To become a McDonald's restaurant manager, you'll need to start off as a crew member and work your way up the ranks. As all training and national qualifications are earned on the job, there are no specific entry requirements. However, once you become a manager, you'll be expected to attain a national certificate in hospitality, quick restaurant services level four. But as this is all paid for by McDonald's, you won't be left with a hefty student loan. And for the ambitious manager, further progression towards owning your own business is encouraged. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.